Okay, welcome to Mbox Extreme. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to install a custom build update using the Extreme Wizard. Uh, one thing to pay attention to in the Wizard is um, the version numbers will be different than what you will see when you do receive the update. Uh, I use my test wizard to do testing to make sure everything goes through correctly and everything runs smoothly before I send it out to you guys. So any version numbers you see, uh, background pictures, maybe some video add-ons might look a little different than what you have. Uh, just ignore that. This is just for uh, showing how to use the wizard. All right, so what we're going to do is I want to go into Kodi. All right, so now you'll see um, this is our uh, change log or notification screen that gives you an idea of um, anything, any changes that's been made, um, maybe anything else I want to let you guys know about, uh, about we have a new live TV service. This will be my third one because I like to have more than one just for backups uh, if, if, if uh, maintenance is going on with other ones or if they're down for whatever reason. So I have a new one coming out called... Um, uh, red line streams all right so um all this does is tells you any new add-ons anything that was fixed just a little bit of information so you know uh, what's been added what's been taken away um, and you'll also see let me see uh, let me see it just tells you Now you'll see on the bottom here, it'll say dismiss or remind me later. Uh, if you hit dismiss and you reboot your box or power back on or whatever, it'll um, not show up again. If you want to read, if you want to keep this and read it later on, uh, just hit remind me later. All right, so I'm gonna hit, I'll just hit remind me later. And the next screen you're gonna get is what version number you are, and I'm on version number 4.1 because this is just a test version. You'll probably be, uh, or you'll be on version one one point zero, so you'll be one one, you know, and, and uh, it'll tell you your latest version. So current version is four point one for my test build, and latest version is um, four point two. Uh, you'll see fresh install to the left, normal install, and then delay update to the right. So if you want to do it later, um, normally you just hit fresh install. Now. I want to skip this part for a second because I have a lot of uh, customers who have uh, my live TV services and they also have the real debris um, uh, service. And what you need to do first is, since this will be the first time you're actually doing this update, you need to make sure that all your login information is saved within the wizard and real debris is saved. So that when the update, when you do the update, everything will automatically uh, log back in for you. So you don't have to do it again. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna back out here and I'm gonna go over now. What you would do is you would go to system and then open up Extreme Wizard. Uh, I'm not using the Extreme Wizard, I'm using my testing wizard. So I'm just gonna go, mine will be in a little different location. So you don't have to do this. You just open up Extreme Wizard underneath system. I'm going to, I have to have, I need to go to my testing wizard since that's what I'm using. All right. All right. So right here, you'll see custom build version one, uh, 4.1 and 4.2. Now what I want to do is I want to go over to save data. So that's what you want to do. Now this is only if you have our live TV services or real debris. So what I want to do, is I want to go into real debris where it says keep real debris. I want to make sure everything's green. Add on data, save data for URL resolver is green. And the same thing for resolver URL. If neither of these are green, then you might have to reauthorize your real debris. 
You can try clicking save all real debris data. That will maybe turn, turn everything green. If not, you'll have to reauthorize it again. All right, so I'll go back and I wanna to go to keep login information. Same thing, Saturn streams, both are green. Extreme TV, both are green. Uh, Add-on data, if that is red, either of these are red, add-on data for each, that most likely means that the Saturn streams or Extreme TV is not installed. If you go back and you install it, they'll both be green. Now, if the save data isn't um, is red, that obviously means that your login information isn't entered. So you need to go and log in again, or you can try like, like before, you can hit save all login data and actually see if it'll uh, turn everything green. But you need all this to be green for your information and your login to be saved, just like the real debris. All right, so everything's all right on this end. I wanna go back. Now I wanna to go to builds. Depending on uh, what build you have, custom build or, or adult custom build, you would install uh, if there's an update for either one of them. So I'm gonna go to custom build. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a fresh install. And like I said, normally uh, when I do another custom build update, you won't have to search for this or you won't have to check this out because it'll be saved automatically anyway. And all you have to do is just click fresh install when you get the pop-up with the version numbers, your current and the new version number. So I'm gonna hit fresh install. Now you'll see on the top, it's saving my login so that um, it'll be transferred when I go over. Even though it's already saved, uh, it's gonna have to save it in the background just so that it's actually definitely saved for when it reboots. All right, do you wish to restore your Kodi configuration to default settings? You want to do this? Yes, you want to click continue. This will clear everything out. Now it's downloading the zip file. I'll let this play through. If you want to fast forward it a little bit, you can fast forward it. Depending on how fast your download speed is, will determine how fast the build installs. All right, so now it's built, it's installing the actual build. You'll see mine says testing wizard. All right, now it's gonna ask you to force close. Uh, on the left it says uh, reload profile and uh, right it says force close. You wanna choose force close. The box will reboot. Just let this go. If you have Saturn change, it's fine. It'll it'll throw the login data in there. You'll see on the top, it's doing a little maintenance. Don't worry about that Plex update failed. 
that'll be that won't be on there when my new one is just in, I gotta take that out all right so you get this pop-up again I'm just gonna dismiss it because I never um, I don't really need this it's the same thing as before just let it go and you'll see on top your resolver resolver URL solder streams and my stream TV all have been restored so now I don't have to do anything I don't have to log in with my extreme TV uh, my Saturn streams. I don't have to go back and reauthorize for real to I don't need to do any of that. Everything's done. Now I want to why I have why you're on here watching this video. I want to show you a little uh, addition that I made. Uh, I made a favorite section, a new favorite section, so that you can save some of your favorite movies and stuff. So I actually save a couple up here already. But what you want to do is let me here. I'm going to take this out. So, say you're watching a TV show, um, TV series, you want to keep going back and searching for it, so you have a favorite section here. This is a lot easier than one I previously had. So I'll just go to TV shows, I'll go to Yoda. Uh, let me do most popular. say I'll just do dare now say I want to save daredevil to my favorites so I'll highlight daredevil daredevil I will hold down the menu button on the remote oh, my fault okay I right, hit the menu button I'm not going to do add the super favorites. I'm going to do standard context menu. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit add the favorites. Same thing. I'll take a America Horror Story. I'm going to press the menu button. Keeps pushing that out. Wait a second. All right, here we go. Hit the menu button once. Just actually tap it. You don't got to hold it down. Uh, standard context menu. Add the favorites. Now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna to go to my favorites and I wanna hit refresh. Now I wanna push up on the remote. Well, actually, let me see something. If I push up on the road, it'll actually show me, have a little on the bottom, what I'm actually highlighted on, even though it is grayed out. So now, if I want to go watch my TV series, all I got to do is just go to favorites. I'll go to American Horror Story. Just click on it. And then I just go whatever season I'm at. You can actually go in and just not even save the American Horror Story. You can actually just save the season that you're on. And it will go in directly into the season. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for the new, uh, showing you how to do the Extreme Wizard. Uh, if you have any questions, just email me, inboxextreme at gmail.com. Or if you're on our website, go to our contact page. And if you have any questions, just let me know. But it's pretty simple. You know, just um, like I said, just make sure you have all your login information saved if you do have any of those, any of those services so that it will uh, install and when it does reboot, just let it sit for a couple seconds here so that it will actually restore everything for you. All right, so uh, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, any questions, just email me, inboxextreme at gmail.com.